good morning. This is Thursday um, for our CAP continuing to talk about percent of change. Um, our warm-up is up on the board. These are just to review from yesterday. Please pause and complete the three problems and then play when you're ready. Here we go. Um, so you'll notice that we have it broken down because that's going to be um, a little bit, we're going to make it spicier today. Um, and it's going to be really important that you know what the new original change amount because it's understanding because we want to say the change is this. We're going to put some more details and stuff like that. So always breaking it down back to what we know. So in this first problem, what is our original and new amount, Gabby? Um, so the original is 20. 20, good. Very good. You already have to change this all. Yeah. What is it? It's 12. Very good. Okay. Remember, Ms. I will use that triangle um, just as her example. Are we good with that so far? Okay. We are trying to find the percent of change um, for the shirt. And so, uh, do we remember the setup, the con sheet from yesterday? Do you remember how I set things up? Yeah. In my proportion. Very good. What did I put in my proportion? Very good. I always put my change over my original, right? Are we good with that? Over here, class, I'm going to put a 100 because we're solving for that percent. Um, Akanshi, did you solve and finish this one? Yeah. yeah. What did you do? Up and down, side to side? Side to side, what did you do? Great. And then when you did that math, what was your answer? 62.5. Percent. Very good. Okay, you didn't put that percent sign. Please add it to your answer. Are we good with that first problem? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Okay, number two. Ben's math grade was an 80 last week, but this this week his, uh, but this week's grade has decreased by 30 percent. What is the current grade? So again, let's talk about our original, our new, and our change. Um, what is our original in this Andre? 80. Um, do we know our new on this? We no. don't. Okay, so this is just, it's a little different. We don't know our change, and we'll see how that affects our problem. Um, we don't know our new. Do we know the change in the problem? Yeah. We do know the change, Dylan. What is it? 30. Okay, 30%. So let's see if we can still set up our proportion for that. Can we still do, like, our change over original? Okay. Um, can you set it up for me, Micah, please? What's going to go over what? Yes, for the second one. 30 over 100. Very good. Up there. Right? What did you do to solve this one? Uh-huh. So you went side to side. Um, remember we need, uh, what did you get as your answer? You did get 24. Okay. Um, so you multiplied by 1.25? Divide it. Okay. I'm like, okay. Yes. If you went side to side um, and you divide it, divided by 1.25 um, and you get 24, did someone solve it a different way? You said? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think quite a few people did that. Three tenths is that's not that you're wrong. Okay. Uh, but I think a lot of people simplified and then it's just times eight and you get that uh, the change is equal to twenty-four. But my question is, is that my final answer? Uh, what is it? Why is it 56? Exactly. My change was 24. Okay, this goes up here. His grade changed by 24. And was it an increase or decrease? Decrease. It went down by 24. So we have to take the OG minus 24, and that would give us our new grade. That's what it was asking of 56. Okay, so that spices it up just a little bit. It's taking that percent of change that we talked about and then applying it just a little step further. Okay? Questions on that one? 
Okay, and then this last one's probably the spiciest of them all. It is interesting. It is a predicament. Okay, but we got it. We got it. SLJ age enrollment increased 20% from last year. We now have about 1,800 students. How many did we have last year? Okay, so let's talk about our uh, our original, our new, what am I writing? Original, new, and our age. What do we know? Let's raise your hand. What do we know in this column? Yes, ma'am. Original, the new is 1,800. 1,800 is our new. It's 20% increase. And then do we know anything else? No. Thank you so much. Great. Um, okay, so let's see if we can solve our proportion. Let's see if we can set it up. Our change over our original. Let's see. Um, change. Do I know my change? Yeah. I know it's 20%, so that goes to over 100. But do I know my change in students, like the actual number of change? Or the OG, okay. So we sort of have to problem solve, okay. But I'm going to draw the bar model because I actually like it on this problem quite a bit because it helps me visually see some stuff, okay. So again, we're talking about students and we're talking about percent. If I have zero students, I have zero percent. If I have a hundred percent of students, I don't. That represents my original, but I still that's what I'm looking for. I don't know, okay. When I do this percentage change, am I going to go back on my bar or am I adding on to it? I'm adding on to it. How much am I adding on to it? I'm adding 20 percent. It's adding one. Uh, I'm adding 20 percent, and so that new percent would be. It's going to be representative of 120 percent. Okay. Do I know my new amount as well of students? What is that going to be? I just, yeah, it's 1,800. But again, I don't know this change. I don't know that new amount. Okay? So it's a little tricky. And so we actually have to go back to our roots of proportion. Okay? We need to figure out, I'm trying to figure out this on the here. I'm just trying to figure out that original amount. But I do know that 120% is 180. And I know that I, I have, do you see how it's one, two, three parts of a, a proportion right there? Okay, I'll see, like, it's, it's, it's like a bar, but a proportion. Okay, great. Yes. I forgot to write an extra zero. Thank you for correcting. Yes, that is important. Okay. So in this, again, basically, I'm going to reword that bar model. I'm trying to figure out what. No. I'm trying to figure out. I know that 120 percent is the same thing as 1800. I know that 1800 is 120 percent. But I don't know what it is, 120% of what number. I don't know what it is, 120% of what number. Okay? So in order to solve this, do y'all remember those little phrases like that? The little little girl? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Okay? But a way to think about it is when I solve this proportion, I'm going to put these folks are talking about like my new amount, right? So instead of putting the change over original, I can put my new over the original because it's still going to be proportional. Okay? So let's see if we can fill out that. Can y'all help me out? What are my new, what's my new amount? I know that it's going to be 1,800. Do I know the number of students that goes below that? No. But do I know my percent? Yeah. Uh, not 20. The new percent is 120 over 100. Are y'all good with that setup? Okay, now we have three parts and we just need to solve for x. So I'm going to pause because maybe you didn't set that up, maybe you didn't even get that part. I'm going to pause and let y'all solve that. All right, what kind of relationship did you find? You simplified when you divide them both by? Once you simplify, you just divide them both by 2 and you also get a 5. Okay, so you're going to simplify them by 10. And, and get 12 over 10, and then you said divide them both by 2 to get 6 over 5, and then you work your way up, like side to side. Okay, how did you get there? Uh, times, 300. times 300, and then class 5 times 300 is 1500. Um, some of y'all might not have simplified, but we all might have worked up and down, um, which is great to find if you get 1500 on your answer. 
if you didn't do that would be why it should be 1500 okay so um again it's just understanding this one's probably again the slide case of them all um because you have to sort of rearrange but it's still the same things that we know is that this is like this new goes with this new OG goes with OG. It's just pairing up stuff, figuring out how it goes in certain proportions. Yes. So, does the new percent is So, again, this X, that is my 1500. And because I've labeled it, that means that it's talking about my original amount was 1500 students. So, if I go back, I originally had 1500 students and it increased to 1800. That change of students would be equal then to 300 students, okay? All right, so again, it spices it up, but we're gonna practice this today, okay? The problems that we have on our worksheet are these, these percent of change with a little bit of pain, okay? We got this, yes? Oh, well, you didn't have to draw the bar graph, I just like it to help me understand and visualize what's going on. Okay, because I could have just done the proportion without it, but it helps me see it. Okay, anything else? All right, so for today's practice, um, first off, sorry, were there any questions on the poll? Or I'm gonna pause for the video. All right, today's activity again is gonna be on percent proportion. Before we pop into there, there might be words that we haven't seen before, so either highlight or underline can help. Look at these words, and I want you to talk with your table group. What is that going to look like? What does like markup mean? How would I solve that? What does percent of reduction mean? How would I do that? Okay, look through these words that I've highlighted. Talk about it with your table group, and we're going to come back together and talk about that. All right, let's talk about these. Uh, so again, we're mo mostly focusing on like the vocab and how to solve it. I don't want to know the answers yet. Y'all will do that in a second. We're just talking about this vocab word. So it's talking about shoes that will mark up. What does it mean to mark up a price? Does that increase, decrease, what? Philip? It's going to increase. It's going to add on. That's how companies make profit. They don't just sell it for what it's worth. They add on to it. They mark it up. Okay. Also, if there's a high demand for things, companies tend to mark up the price. Okay. So when I do that, you're still defining your case. On number six, it's talking about the percent of reduction. That just means, yes, Bruno? Um, basically, the uh, percent of Decrease, which yes. would be percent of change. Very good. Percent of change, how much is it going down? Reduction just needs to go down. Okay? On number nine, the height of a tree was eight feet after a year, the tree's height increased by 25%. What is the new height? So on this one, because it's increased by 25, is it going up or down? It's going up by it's, up four. It's going up by 25%. But the thing is, is this talking about the change or like the new amount? When it says increase by 25%, 25 is talking about the change, but the question is asking for the new height. So you need to make sure, sorry about that, guys. Right? Um, you're going to need to make sure if you're increasing by 25, what are you going to have to do in order to find that new height? If you find the change and you have the original, you're going to need to uh, find the, um, add the change to the original. Very good. Because it's increasing, you're going to add it that original to find the new height. Okay? Versus if I decreased it by this amount, I would need to subtract, subtract it. Okay? Just talking about those things. Um, on this one, we're going to have to find the original. So that's sort of like that third warm-up we just did, finding that original. Sales tax. Okay? Some of us know, some of us don't. For sales tax, is that an increase or a decrease? Increase. Increase. And it's an increase of that amount. So when you're finding the total amount, that's going to be not just the tax, but also the original. It's something you have to add. Okay? Tip. Increase or decrease? Increase. Okay? Number 14, it says that it's increased by 30%, and now there's 182. You have to find that original amount. So that's like that third one we just did. Okay? So there's a little bit of everything in this problem. Um, Y'all are going to do the little lottery game that we've been doing. You can work in partners because some of this does take some brain work. Work in partners, you'll write up on the board. I'm just letting you know for those people listening and y'all, whatever you don't finish is going to be homework. Okay? That is it. Let's make you a